everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the forest of Pennsylvania. Me and Sean are way back in. We just come up over two bridges. I would venture to say two miles back in, but uh, there's an old home site here. Uh, it was on a 1960s map, gone by 1970. This site was on an 1860s map as well. So there's potentially, this could be a lot of old stuff here. So let me turn you around and show what I found. All right, so flip the plug out of the hole and it's right there. Some of you could probably already recognize this. Um, this is an old D buckle, we call it, with an old belt buckle. Still got the tongue in there. It's got an iron tongue. Usually they rust out and all you find is the frame. But yeah, it's an old buckle. Age is the site. We're gonna keep going here, hopefully find some more stuff, figure out where the house was and go from there. So here's what we're working with. Sean is over in there somewhere. There he is. He's working up here towards me. I just told him I found that D buckle. So we're gonna try to pinpoint this site and uh, we'll come right back in the next find. All right, Sean's got something over here. Let's go see what it is. He says, I haven't found one of these in a long time, he says. So there's a lot of tones in here, but it just seems like we got to pick through the trash because... See anything in the hole? Looks like there's a chunk of dirt laying in there. See if you can see it. I see something there. <laughs> Gas valve? Yep. Nice. And it's going to have like the uh, fancy designs on them. I'm going to brush it real quick. We're going to show you. So these would actually... Uh, well, there's been a connection. Line would have went in here, would have split off. So these would have been in the home and it would have been visible in the walls. So they had to have the stuff. It's miss, missing the knob. Yeah, it's missing the knob. Or it would have been right here to, to turn it. The valve. You know, they wanted it to look fancy as it was exposed inside their house. I'm going to brush it. We'll show it to you. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. You can imagine that being, uh, you know, exposed on, you know, up towards the ceiling or wherever that it would be. And it's probably like Victorian era. It's going to the other side. Same thing. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, man. I know there's going to be old stuff in here. It's just mixed in with a bunch of newer stuff. stuff. Cause I've done uh, twist caps and stuff like that. And that, that would date back in the fifties and sixties. So we're just going to have to fight through the iron and the, the new garbage. But it's in here. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I found a, uh, a privy down there and started digging it. Did find some glass in it, uh, old lantern pieces and stuff, but no bottles, uh, didn't really have the time or the shovel or the equipment to get real deep, but come up here above what we think is either the barn or the house. Got a signal right here, it was a 66 on the machine. It looks like something I dug at the old, old site. We're gonna turn you around and see what it is here. All right, so it was in the, here's the oh, there it is right there. I thought it was a coin at first, but it kind of looks like a medallion of some kind. Oh, it's nice and green, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna, take some time and clean this up. I'll come right back. I see something, maybe some kind of design on there. All right, there it is. It is the exact same medallion I found in the last week's episode. And we are a good mile, mile and a half away. This is definitely gonna be an old Catholic medallion. That is pretty neat. So we're gonna hit this little area here pretty hard. Hopefully dig up some more old stuff. All right, so we are back at the, uh, well, the site that you've seen the last two episodes. That's something too. All in the same hole. I didn't even see that. Almost looks like you put string or something through there, and maybe like a plumb bulb type thing. But this is what I did find. That looks like it's part of a pitchfork. Obviously missing a piece coming out this way. I don't know what that is. I would say they put the wooden handle on this part right here. Obviously that's long gone. So there was this. What I'm assuming kind of almost looks like a plumb bulb type thing. And then we had a piece of wire in here. Three finds, not so great, but how we missed them the last two times we were here. Man, it's crazy, the stuff you can still find. Jerry's behind me here. He's in the button spot. It's the button. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I found like five buttons there. Kenny found two buttons there. And Jerry just found one too in the same spot, I think. We'll go see what he got. That's about the same size as the other ones we found there too. Yeah, it was an 80 on the dais. And it was a so, no doubt or 80. Nope, it was no. just quiet. That's probably why, why you guys missed this. I actually uh -huh. still got the leather right there. Yep. So I think all those pieces that we found are because I know Kenny's it still had the uh probably an old coat or something. Yeah, I was gonna say an old coat must have been laying there or something. Maybe uh half you know half a dozen or a dozen buttons on it. Uh, Never know, hey, man. Let's keep going. All right, Jerry's back behind me here as you can see him. He's digging a 49. Evidently he hasn't figured out what it is yet. I'm absolutely stunned what I got in the hole here. 
I know it just looks like a clump of dirt right now, but for those of you that metal detect, you know the knobs that you, uh, you turn for lanterns? This is the whole top piece of a lantern. That is crazy. I almost want to try to keep this together as much as I can. I'm going to turn you around and we'll take some of this dirt off together. So there's the, uh, the knob that you would spin and it actually still spins. That's crazy. This is the most complete lantern piece that I've ever found. Man, I wish I could bend that back to so everything was flat again. I don't want to get too crazy with it. I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to let that dry out. Wow, that's nuts. I'm going to take it over there and sit it on the log and let it dry out because I want to keep it just like this and I'm going to clean it up and display it just like that. That's a heck of a find right there. So Jerry's find, he told me the 49 that he was digging right here when I got that lantern was just a, an old piece of copper. I mean, everything we're digging in here is absolutely insanely old. So it's almost one of the best sites that I've probably been on. We're gonna keep hammering around in here. There's a lot of area to swing. So we're just hitting the tip of the iceberg. All right, guys, I got a signal here. I um, already pulled it out and looked at it. It was laying right down in the bottom of that hole. It's pretty deep actually. So I thought this was a hem weight at first. But it had a, uh, it actually had a piece of an iron tongue still stuck to it. This is actually a little buckle. I've never seen one like that. Uh, the tongue I, I busted off. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Definitely not a hem weight. It's made out of uh, brass. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, so the, the find I have here in the hole is not anything super crazy, but it's super old. That is a square nail. I mean, I guess it, it could have been on the house in the 1800s too, but more stuff. Stuff just keeps on coming to this site. All right, I got something good. Pretty old, pretty worn. I got a little ring. It's very, very small. Now, I've dug these silver before. I think this is a baby's ring. I don't know why, but I don't know if it was a thing back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, or mid 1800s to get their baby's rings, but I dug a silver one once that had three gems in it, and it was the same size that only fit on my pinky, just the tip of my pinky, so. But uh, very cool. Sean just dug something up there. We're just really slowing down in here. Me and Kenny and Sean hit this last week really hard. But the key is, is you know, if you can ever come back to a site, just slow down, try to hit the tones in the areas that you missed. And a lot of times you'll continue to pull stuff out. You never get it all, especially in a site like this, because half the spots like here, you can't even get underneath them branches. Let's keep going. All right, I, uh, I got an 8485, very small tone. Sounds really good. Uh, we're going to kind of live dig it. I kind of dug around a little bit, still in the hole. So uh, we're going to look for it together. It sounded pretty deep too. So let's see. And actually he dug his uh, rat tail pewter spoon about two feet away. So you never know. Let's see what it is. All right. So it's in this hole here somewhere. Let's see if we can. 84, 85. It was small. Still in the hole. Getting closer. Let's see. It's out, whatever it is. What so, is that? Is that a dandy button? It sure is. Holy. All right, so here's the back. <laughs> it's on the front. That's hopefully, hopefully something good. Usually those dandy buttons have something on them. Uh, this one I don't think does. All right, let me clean it up and come right back. All right, everybody, there it is. Uh, it's not a GW, George Washington inaugural button. It is just a big dandy. It looks like it has, I think that it may be like a floral design on the outside. But hey, I'll take it. Big old dandy. If you think that's a George a GW button, leave us a comment. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. All right, Sean's got something over here. Just can you imagine it, all the stuff that's underneath these logs? And look where he dug it, right in between all that mess. Yep, he says it's oval. Maybe a smashed coin. It's a little too perfectly oval. A monster cufflink. It could be. I don't know what's on the back yet. It's still got the clump on there. Here we go. Let's see. What's the reveal? I don't, I don't feel there's no shank. I wonder if it's a medallion like uh, the one I dug earlier today there's and no hole in the last top. week. No. Uh -uh. Might not be anything coin. on it. That's way too perfectly shaped for nothing to be on it at all, right? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's clean it up and come right back. All right, so there is something written on it. We have no idea what it is. This side is wiped clean. I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says T-Y-C-O-C, T-Y-C-O-S, Tycos, something. Hmm, maybe it's Latin. I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It had to be something. It was too perfectly round. Yeah, I see it on there. See, I use, I don't know. I've looked through it through a magnifying glass at home. No idea. There's still stuff in here that's nuts. We're still 
what are we like 20 feet from our beds yeah that's crazy let's keep going all right got a uh a mid-tone here 54. Uh, we're gonna look for it here real quick oh these buttons look at this and it looks like silver doesn't it it's a tone back button very very small still has a shank it's beautiful beautiful tone back button very nice <laughs> i love digging tom back just you know shows how old the sights are could have very easily been a small little silver coin all right guys i got a uh, 60 67 i think small tom back button was right over there so let's see what this one is so on the hole oh it's out whatever it is so this is going to be just a uh, piece of lead or melted tomback, one of the two. Old stuff. Let's keep going. Jerry called this one. It was giving me a 42 on the dais. He said it was going to be a tomback when he heard the uh, the numbers. This thing had to have been 14 inches deep. The fact that I even heard that on the metal detector is nuts. It is a 100% tomback button. Sweet. This is an old, 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 old button. We're getting these little squeakers. Jerry's back there deep into the bush. It's where he's going to find the silver point at. Let's keep going. All right. <laughs> These tom back buttons can just keep popping out of the hole. You got another one. They ring about 42 to 46 on the uh, dais. Here. These small ones. Sean's got another signal right here. It's a 42. It's a 42. So let's go see what he's got. What the heck is that thing? What is that? Oh, it's like a game piece. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I don't know. It's a cap to something. That was my 42. Hello, well. All right. This is, we're going to nickname this the button tree. Look at all these holes. These are all buttons. Tombacks. Is that a tomback? I don't know yet. Looks like it might be a. This is a 62, probably slightly bigger button. Oh, concave. Either that or it's bent just a little bit. Any design on it? We get some War of 1812 action. We haven't found any military buttons down here. No, we haven't. Nothing? Nothing on it. I don't even know where the shank there. Broke off. Yep. Another button. <laughs> the button tree. That's, it. That's pretty cool. So the find I have here in a hole, I thought was going to be another button. Pulled it out. Almost looks like a tab that would have been on like furniture maybe. But I think I see writing on it. I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to give you a close up on it. See if we can uh, read the read the writing together. There's definitely writing on there. I see ED. So we're going to, sh we're going to show you close up here. All right. So let's, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Can you read what that says? I see. A, I thought I saw an ED. Not sure what that says. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. Throw in the pouch. Let's keep rolling. All right. Sean's got a 10 way in the middle of these briars here. This is a 72. What is it? Shotgun gun shell. Come on, Ferris. Almost looks like it has a design around the outside, maybe. Let yeah, me see it. Love it, Edge. Any thoughts, everybody? Is it worth the trip? And <laughs> no, it's not worth the trip underneath the bush. <laughs> freaking breaking branches off and everything else. All right. Never know, though. Could have been a freaking charm. I got another button. I mean, it's only like button number 70 out of this place. <laughs> this one's missing the shank. It's broke off. Definite flat button. Yeah, and I lost it for a second time. Thought it was gonna be a coin all day flat button though. Nothing on it, let's keep going. So you can probably just call me the suspender king. You know why? Cause I just dug another one. Not too far from where I just dug that button. One of my favorite things to find. These things normally have like fancy scroll work on them and stuff like that. Love digging them. This one I think is actually just pretty plain but definitely has a fancy shape to it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a brush and we'll see if there's anything on it, we'll come back. So it does have a little bit of fancy on it. You can see right on the edges right there. Pretty neat. I love finding these. We're heading up towards where we found all the coins at. It's kind of weird how the buttons were on one side, the coins were on the other. So it could be that, you know, the house site's near where the coins were, but we're gonna see if we can find any more. All right, got another interesting find here in the hole. I don't know if this is Civil War or not, but I've seen these dug before. I think they call them J-hooks. This one has kind of like a button on the end. Uh, it does not have an eagle on it. I'm not real familiar. We don't dig a lot of Civil War stuff back where we are. But uh, that is pretty neat. Tell me what you guys think. We're gonna keep going. All right, we've got another button. This one actually has a design on it for once. Um, looks like we got a little basket weave. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's a uh, second or third basket weave design I've dug. Not here, but you know, just in general. That's pretty nice. All right, guys. All right, I got a signal here up above the house. Got a nice little parasol slide, it's like an old umbrella piece. There you go. 
All right, guys, here we are. Oh, this site is an interesting one. This is an old church site from either late, late 1800s. It's not on an 1870s map, but it's on a 1902 topographical. So who knows when they built it, 1890s, 1880s. So, and then it was here up until the 1960s. There's also a home site down uh, behind us here as well that uh, we think may have been on the 1860s map. So but lots of potential here. This is an old church site. There's a stone foundation that goes through over there, comes, a, comes across here, and, and then obviously, behind, yeah. yep, back there. So, and then there's a little hole in the ground beside it. We're hoping there's gonna be some silver in here. We just got done looking at the aerial photo, trying to figure out if we could see where the, uh, like the parking lots and stuff are. We think it's on this side of the church. So we're gonna spend some time in here. This whole area might be good. You never know what we're gonna find. Stay tuned. I'm excited. A little <laughs> chilly this morning, but it's supposed to warm up some. Yeah. I have, yeah. I have a good feeling about this actually. It's a pretty spot. Got the river down over the hill behind us. Yeah, man, let's go. All right, so Jerry says he has a deep 90. I lost him, where'd he go? Here it is. Point. Is it? I think it's silver. Really? It's black. Dude, I think it's silver. If it's a 90, it has to be. I don't know what else would be 90. Oh! <gasps> it's silver. It's silver, dude. <laughs> you got a spray on you? Yep, that's silver all day. Sure is. It could be at least a barber or seated. I don't know. One dime. Barber seated. Yeah. Uh oh. See if it's got a mint mark before we turn it over. No mint. No mint mark. There it is. It's a barber. barber. Nice, dude. 1916. Last year. <laughs> Last year, barber. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, I just come down here close to the river. I'm, I was hoping that there might be like an earlier site down here. Yeah, if I build a cabin, I'd want it down here along, along the river. Oh, for sure. It's out of the flood zone. You can see there's like a there's like a drop off right there. So I don't think this floods right here. Definitely not. Yeah, man. <laughs> Can't beat that for one. What is yeah, that? First, shape. first thing you film. First thing. It's not bad. That's it. Might be a good sign. <sighs> yes. Good job, man. Thanks. Yeah, as you can see, he's pretty close to the to the river here. So whether or not there was an old one down here, it's hard to say. Yeah, we had uh, we only go back to 1860, so if it was before that, we will never even know. Yeah, we had mentioned like you know if they're going to have service outside, where would you have it? I'd have it down by the river. Maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, you dig one more coin out of here. I'm coming down this way. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job, dude. Thanks. All right, so we're getting, we're going back down to see what Jerry got. I might have to go down here. I don't know if you can see. There's the uh, the old outhouses that were for the church. Jerry says he has a 92, 94. That could be quarter range. Looks like he's pretty close to where he dug that dime. Where'd you dig that dime at? Right here. It's jumping around anywhere from 88 to 94, so it felt like solid. That one was solid. So this may not be a quarter. That one wasn't deviating off the 90. 93, 92. That's a quarter. If you're getting it every direction, that's gonna be a silver quarter. I call it right now. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't sound as clean as the other one. It's a little louder too. I see, see dark, I see dark dirt right there. That's still on the sidewall. Sidewall action. Right there. And not. Yeah, I've done this get you. before, yeah. <laughs> this will definitely get you. Shoot. Probably why it was jumping around a little bit. Because it's not exactly round. Yeah. Hey, it was worth a walk over. Yeah, it was. You never know. But. I might mosey towards the uh, the outhouse. It's kind of migrate down here towards you a little bit. All Seems right. like you're. Well, I mean, what else have you dug down here besides the, the nut? It. <laughs> the nut and the silver. Is the two that, things you've dug down here. Is that. All right. Yeah, maybe I'll hang up with there I mean, for a little bit. It's kind of quiet. Like just you know. But when you hit a tone, it's a no doubter. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep going here. All right. All right, Sean, I heard him call silver. Silver something, he said. It's not a coin. What in the world could it be? Right next to that briar patch. Oh, yeah, there's the outhouse. One of them. Did it come up on a dais? 80. 80? Yep. Okay, where the heck? Can you see it? I see something triangle there. Yep, that could be it. Right there. Almost certain that's silver. Oh, yeah. You think? Is there a hunter or something or a baseball player on there? I don't know. It looks like it's going to be a pin. I see the two, two ends where the pin is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
So that's probably not the decorative side. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it has silver. to be silver. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's really nice. shiny. The other side's gotta be beautiful. I wonder what's on it. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Do you think it's gonna be religious since we're at a church? Could be. All right, let's flip her and see. I mean, there's design on there. It's not as beautiful as I thought it was gonna be, but Definitely look at that. Silver, though. Yeah, boy, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. that's... I don't know if it's flowers, leaves, what that is. Yep, flowers on the outside with like a, uh, not really a checkerboard pattern in the middle, but it's pretty. Yep. <laughs> Some poor lady lost that off of her shirt when she was walking to the outhouse. Yeah. So we know this is the female outhouse at least now. Female? Oh yeah, because of this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Males and females, segregation, not like today. <laughs> I don't think they had a... Uh... Don't get me started. <laughs> All right, good job, yeah, dude. dude. Here. Silver for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This will get good in my display box. Mm-hmm. Woo! Good job. I kind of got a, an odd find in a hole here. I dug it up. I thought it was going to be like a uh, binocular piece, but it's actually some sort of old pressure gauge or uh, temperature gauge. It's got to be from maybe the 1920s or 30s. I don't know if it'd be on a Model T or not. I'm going to show it to you. There's writing on the bottom. I wish I could read what it says, but there's dirt inside there. If I could read what it said, I could almost figure out what it was for. I might have to tear it apart to find out. So pretty cool find. Still pretty close to the woman's outhouse there so i'm gonna keep working this area right here see what else i can find all right we're finding the hole here it's not super old but it's still a pretty cool find nonetheless and it's just a tiny piece but it's actually the piece that i found is actually the display piece how lucky is that that is pretty cool i'm gonna say it's a roy rogers play gun that's pretty neat looks like it's damaged in a couple places on the one side but here's the money shot i'm gonna display it even though it's just the bottom of the handle but it's a piece of a toy gun. Pretty awesome. Let's go. All right, uh, Sean, come over to show me his. Uh, oh yeah, this guy's design on it. Show me his uh, pistol grip. And uh, I had an 80 right here when he was talking to me. And I think this is either going to be a. I think it might be a cufflink. <sighs> it's definitely. A, I think it's going to be a cufflink. It's got a design on it, but it's just like a gold gilt. You can see where some of it's rubbing off there. But that's the back. That's pretty neat. I dug one of these at an, an old schoolhouse. Oh, probably 45 minutes away from here. That wasn't as fancy as this one, but it had the same back. That's good. It's my third third good signal. Let's keep going. So I'm digging a lot of uh, random car parts around here. So there's a lot of a lot of a lot of signals. The piece I have here, cigarette lighter out of I'm gonna say like a 1940s automobile. Man, I bet that guy was mad when he lost this. He probably had to ride all the way home in his car without a cigarette. That <laughs> would have stunk. <laughs> funny now, it wasn't funny for him. So he's probably yelling at the wife and the kids because he was so frustrated because he needed that smoke. And his lighter was laying in the churchyard. <laughs> that stinks. Let's keep going. Let's get ready to film myself and I'm gonna film Jerry because he said he, he said he has a 92. You called it, brother. I called it? Yeah. Mason jar yeah. lid. There's a whole bunch of them spread around right in here. Must have dumped them all, dumped them all right in here. Yeah. So I have a 90 up here. We're going to go film it. It's almost right next to the, uh, the old outhouse. So I'm going to set you up here. We'll do a live dig on it. 89.90. Here we go. What's it going to be? Mm, it's not kind of big. What the heck is that? Looks like a piece of melted lead. Oh, well. But I thought it was going to be a silver next time that signal i mean that 90 i had to dig it i mean you're gonna find some trashy stuff but there's gonna i mean there's no doubt some more modern trash in here because the church was still standing in the 40s I, I do believe so jerry jerry says he has a coin we're gonna go check it out i scratched the edge it's not silver i'm guessing probably i mean it's, it's the size of a penny 86 a is a little high for that's what i was saying you think it's a weedy uh probably yeah, let's get a see if we can get a year off of it i see the one yep. cent Definitely a wheat scent. Let's see if we can get you a year real quick. We'll come right back. All right, we got a year. It is a 1930. So it's about right for this site, the church site. We still haven't made it over to the old site, Mrs. White's house. <laughs> That's what it says on the map, 1860s. So we're gonna head over to Mr. Mrs. White's house here before long. There's gotta be some more coins in here. It being a church, maybe 50 cent piece, maybe gold ring fell off on their wedding day, who knows. Had a hard time finding that one. I had a nice small 89.90. Just dug it. I do have a coin. It is a wheat penny, but we're going to uh, see what year it is. I'll be right back. All right, I see a 1945 on it. Uh, I'll take it. 
We're getting close to where the parking lot was. Well, from the aerial photo from the 1940s, we, we think where the parking lot was. Um, we're gonna keep heading that direction. Hopefully start to pop out some silver. What'd you find? That's the best find of the day right there. <laughs> Antler shed. Uh, there you go. Yep, just laying in the weeds. All right, so right right back there is where I dug that uh, coin. Uh, I said we're getting closer to the parking lot. I got another coin right here, high 80s, low 90s. What is it? I'm gonna guess it's another wheat. All right, let me clean this up and I'll come right back. Wah, wah, wah. It's a memorial. It is a 19, 1960s. All right, let's keep going. All right, Sean's got something over there he's digging. And I got something here. Dug it up out of the hole. I thought it was a broken fork, but it's just bent. I'm not sure what that would have dated to. Got a wheat penny in here and also a 1962 penny. Again, kind of close to what we think is the parking lot. We're going to keep going in here. Mrs. White's house is that way. We'll eventually make it there, but we're going to keep hitting it in here. Finding the hole here, it's not spectacular, but it's kind of crazy that I'm near the parking lot, which is right behind me. The road is right behind the camera. Model T valve stem. So I don't know if you guys ever found, I call them screwdriver handles. Looks like they would screw over top. So this would be the part that comes up through the rim. And then that screwdriver handle would screw down on there. Pretty cool, at least 110 years old take that all right got another signal here a uh, nice high tone this is an organ reed which makes sense because we got the church here i'm actually between one building and the church i uh, just pulled out another 1960s penny still having some signals in here uh sean's over there he's dug in a couple dug a couple things but uh, we're gonna keep going all right a little different as you can see behind us uh, we moved on from the church site we are now heading towards a post office site you got sean over there digging something i just dug this appears to be a round musket ball fired probably 50 cal smashed maybe hit a deer maybe it didn't sean's over there digging something but let me turn you around and show you what it is all right just a piece of lead looks old what you got a piece of copper <laughs> All right, there's a hotel site and a uh, post office site. We're heading across the field too, so stay tuned. 92, 93 in the, well, in the ground here. Haven't it yet. Doesn't sound deep, but it could be a shallow coin. Is it out? Still in there. I'm getting 94, 95. Big old silver coin. All right. Get, I don't know, man. Get the pinpointer down there. Yeah, there's probably a coin in it. Yeah, there, I thought it was an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> copper, copper egg. <laughs> oh, well. I don't see a coin in it. <laughs> nope. All right, Sean says he's got something good. <laughs> uh oh, those are silver arms. Uh, no? Ooh, I see it. That bad boy. Look it out. Wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. A little bit crushed, but. Is it crushed? Yeah, kind of like pushed together. Okay, definitely cradle bell. Yep, -er. Wow, that's a nice one. Probably number what four? Number seven. Is that what it says? Seven. Wow, very cool. I haven't found a cradle bell in a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time, like a really long time. Is that considered tom back? Well, it's a good thing you dug it. Yeah, yeah I thought it was going to be another egg. No, it's brass. You can still see the petals on there. Very cool. Hey, at least I got something great out of here. Yeah. Let's keep going. All right, well, we're uh, finishing up here. This was a bit of a half day. Not the best day we've ever had, but we did get a couple good relics and a couple good coins. So if you guys like this video, we got a bunch more. We release a video every Saturday. So check them out. <laughs>